In this video, I'm going to teach you something. CJLs versus chakras. The difference between these two. There's a very big difference between when you're using CJLs and when you're just using, you know, the Holy Spirit, the, the spiritual system in your body. So I'm really going to explain to you properly. Let's go. Now, you've read some books where they told you. By the way, make sure you watch this video to the end, though, because I'm going to keep this secret at the end. I will intentionally do it so that if you do not watch the video to the end, you won't get the information, you won't get the secret. So stay with me. Sigils are written, are placed in some books. If you go online right now on Google or maybe YouTube and you type how to summon angels, search, you're going to see something like sigils. When you watch those videos, you'll see CGLs. S I G I L S. You'll see that, okay? Now, do you really need those things? Yes, maybe if you're a beginner, you might need those things. If you're not really good at experimenting, you might need those things. But um, with chakras, it's a different thing entirely. The vortex. Vortex of the Holy Spirit is a different thing entirely. So stay with me. If you leave this video right now, you will not get what I'm saying. You've not watched this video for up to like two minutes. You're already tired. Yet you claim that you really want to understand this thing. And I'm trying my best to really explain it so that you can get it. But you're not helping me to help you so that you can get this thing and master it properly. I want you to relax and calm down. Don't rush. Everything is not about rush, rush. Oh, I just want to get the information. Just tell me the thing. It doesn't work like that. Relax first. You don't even have a note. Hmm? Anyway, let's start again. If you read some books, you see sigils there. S I G I L S. But the problem here is that sigils sometimes they don't work, and um, they are rare, rare, R A R E, rare, very rare. Because we all know that the sigil is like the phone number of the angel of the being. But who is going to give you the sigil? Where do you even want to find it? You can't see it now. Where do you want to see it? You type on Google. Sigil of Archangel Michael. Send. Then you see different sigils made by different people. So how will you know the exact one that works? You don't even know. So you now have to start experimenting. Let me use this one, if it will work. Let me use this one, if it will work. And in the process, you might even summon a demon that will give you problems. self. Can you see the, the issue with it? It's a, it's a very big issue that many people have faced. You don't even know what you are doing because on social media, different people saying different things. I'm telling you, different people saying different things. But there's one thing I usually advise people to do. If you want to use CGOs, make sure it is very simple. You see all these ones that, because I read those books and they are doing complex stuff there. I'm, I'm not interested. I just flap it away. The moment you show me anything that is complex, I'm not doing it again. I'm not interested. That's just me for you. Because why do I need to become an artist? Before I can summon an angel, why? So I discovered a technique, which is visualization of simple sigils. First of all, you can, you are you must not draw any sigil, unless if I tell you to draw it. If you ask me, I can be like, okay, you can draw it because it's low level, because all our training is for you to be like best of the best. The moment you take a pen and you draw a sigil, you are no longer my student too. You, you are not my student. You can't be my student. Unless if I if you message me and I'm like, okay, do it. Do it because you're in low level. I'm just trying to help you. You cannot draw anything. Why? Why are you drawing something? Are you doing witchcraft? What are you doing? Why are you drawing something? If you want to pray in the name of Jesus, do you write Jesus on the pen? J-E-S-U-S. -S. So why would you draw a CGO? No. You visualize it. Somebody say visualize it. 
you visualize it and you make sure that it's simple once it starts looking complex remove it now let me explain something to you in the olden days we used to have big computers right that <laughs> a computer that stored just one mb would be as big as as a living room carrying it all around but now we have smartphones more powerful computers in our hands in our pocket same thing with those CGUs. Why do you want to draw a CGU that is as big as the Earth, as the universe? But you can decode a CGU. You can compress it, compress it, compress it till it turns to letter Y. As small as letter Y or something like that. Very small CGU. So why do you want to be drawing circles all over the world? That is long, like 20 centimeters. Why are you staining your house? Why Are you dirty? Are you a dirty person? Because I want to understand, are you a dirty person that you want to be drawing stuff around? Where are you from? You have to be civilized now. You have to love first class lifestyle. <laughs> so yeah, back to what I was saying. So you are not allowed to draw any studio. Never, you can't. You are only allowed to visualize it. And it has to be very simple and basic. That's number two. Number three. You must be able to understand that these sigils have life. They have life and they can move. Now, if you draw something on, on a book, because I've seen some of these guys, they'd be like, you draw it on a book and visualize, visualize, look at it, and to be changing. That's nonsense. That thing does not work. The better one that works is when you visualize the sigil in 3D, a simple sigil. Now I'm going to explain how to even get the sigil in the first place. I don't use sigils. I don't. Why would I need a sigil? But it works anyway. For beginners, you would need it. So once you visualize the sigil, this is how I, I'll visualize the sigil if I want to re, re, uh, relate with it, interact with the sigil. I can do it like this. Hmm? I can do it like this. I can... Turn it to the left, turn it to the right, up, down. It must be able to spin, like bond, bonding in chemistry, organic chemistry. That is how sigils are. You must be able to look at it from all angles. You must be able to put the sigil on air and the sigil turns, rotate. The sigil must be able to open like a door and close. The sigil must be able to expand from a tiny sigil to something wide. <laughs> The sigil must be able to transform from a sigil, it transforms into a beam, into something like that. Now, do you understand why the system is better? <laughs> yeah. This is the Gaffer, the God of Prophecy. There's nobody that knows this technique up to me. It's not possible. Because they've not done the training, they cannot do it. All right, let's move to the next stuff. Now, once you have that sigil, you just need to, you know, there are different techniques that I develop, and they are not in any books in the world. Some of them are in my books. If you want to get my books on other prophecy accuracy or someone in just click the link below. Some of them are in my books. Some of them are in my courses, my angelic course, two thousand dollars if you need it. So those things are really, really powerful. Now, how will you even get the sigil in the first place? The only way you can get the sigils is when you experiment or you meet someone like me to give you one. Wait, don't message me for it. I won't give you. I don't have time. Seriously. You experiment or you search online or you receive inspiration to get one. Or you try do trial and error and someone an angel to get it. The angel gives you the sigil. It can throw it as a coin to you. You know, you see all these things and you even think maybe it's imagination or maybe it's not even real. The way people are saying it, you think it's fake. But it's all about, you know, experimenting. Now, that's sigil. Let's move to the next one. I don't want to waste too much time. Sigils versus these chakras. You see, I prefer using the chakras, which is the infilling of the Holy Spirit, to, you know, summon an angel. Because 
the chakra is easier with intention. Well, it's almost the same level of difficulty, and I'm going to explain. If you have a chakra, uh, the seven chakras, you can just create a portal, boom, 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 open your third eye, spin it, zzz, 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 and you know the angel will just pop out from there. As long as you will it and you desire, you have the intention, you know the angel you want to bring. Just that you need concentration practices, meditation, focus, desire, intention, will must be 100%. It must not shake. The moment it shakes, it will bring down that thing. But with sigils, sigils is easy because if you have, if you know the sigil, of course, you meet the angel at the other end. But who will give you the sigil? That's the question. Where will you get the sigil? Is it from those books that you are reading that you want to get the sigil? Because I don't trust those books. So, and I can't trust you that you read those books. If you read those books, you're on your own. You're on your own. Because I never used any sigil from those books. Let me just tell you the fact. Because I don't trust the sigils. Because they are not Christians. So that's the difference between the sigils and the chakras. But yes, Christians can use sigils too. But in a different way, it has to be very simple. Very simple. So angels have sigils, which is sealed, the seal of the angels in Revelation. So, you know, sigils are not like how people think. It's not like what you saw in those books. But I just hope you understand. If you want to learn more, just click the link below. Book a call, chat with us, and we'll help. I'm just making this video so you can understand. But you see, a sigil can transform from a normal sigil. Let's say a sigil is like V, then V on top, V under, inverted. It now looks like X, but it's separated with maybe something like this. The, the sigil can start rotating and moving. Before you know it, it will start sprouting roots, tops. And every stuff, you know, it, it's very complex. It's hard to explain, but that's how CGS is. Now, CGS are. It's not like the way you read it in those books. So, if you do it, you know that it's not like that. It's not one immovable thing that's just there. No. It's much more than that. I will see in the next video.